Yo, what's going on guys? Arix here. Welcome back to another video for Elden Ring. And in this one, I want to put together a list of six incredibly powerful strength weapons and items. Well, five weapons, one item that you should definitely pick up if you are a strength player. If you like specking into strength, some of these weapons are on this list not just for big damage, but also for their utility. Of course, if you guys have your own picks for weapons that you think are fantastic, then by all means let me know in the comments down below. But these are six incredibly awesome items, some of the best strength items, best in slot that you can get, at least from my time testing, my personal opinion. So if you guys want to know what you should be picking up, then definitely let's get started. If you guys do enjoy this, a like would be super appreciated. Again, let me know in the comments down below what weapons you are running and keep it locked for plenty more Elden Ring. Anyway, the Giant Crusher, first weapon. Your boy loves a big hammer. Basically, I want to be Thor, although admittedly his hammer is actually kind of small. But anyway, the Giant Crusher is another heavy hitting weapon and it's also fantastic for those that want a strike type weapon. Keep in mind, if you happen to be battling things like the Crystallian bosses, strike weapons are fantastic. This thing looks like a block of stone but it is incredibly awesome and it just hits hard it does of course have a pretty high strength requirement of 60 with scaling and strength but it's basically just like if you like strength you go all into this weapon. If you want to get this one, then you want to fast travel to the outer wall phantom tree site of grace just outside of Landal and head south. There will be a small camp with a caravan and quite simply, if you open the chest in the back of that, you can get the weapon. You don't need to fight the boss or anything like that. It is simply run and grab. Now, moving on from there to the next one, we have the Star Scourge Greatsword. Of course, this is Radan's weapon, and it is on here partly because obviously it's really strong anyway, but also because of the utility, rather more so than the damage. It is incredible for clearing trash mobs, making it a fantastic weapon for farming. If you guys go to the famous farming spot that we spoke to you guys about, then you can simply run there, pull the mobs together, spam out your unique skill, and watch as everything dies. You can, of course, grab them from the round table hold. This does have a strength requirement of 38, a dex requirement of 12, intellect of 15, and, of course, primarily it scales in strength. Maybe not as highly as some of the other ones. So, again, this is not just for a power point of view. This is also a utility weapon, but it is a fantastic pick. Of course, moving on from there, we then have the Heavy Greatsword, the Gut Special. For those of you guys that are Berserk fans, then of course this is the weapon that you want to be using. This is incredibly powerful. One of the best strength weapons in the game due to its scaling and how hard it hits. You can also swap out the Ashes of War on this one, so the customization aspect means that it is incredibly versatile. If you guys caught our build video yesterday on how to basically one-shot a lot of bosses with these blades, then definitely check that out. I'll link it down below. It's powerful, and of course, for any of you guys that are Berserk fans, it's basically Guts' sword from the series, so, uh, you know, that's bonus points. And again, if you want to get this one, you can go over to Kaelid. You go to the Kaelin Ruin site of Grace, and you then simply go across the road until the caravan. You go towards the caravan, open the chest in the back, and you get the Greatsword. Of course, if you do want a second one, you will either need to get this on, like, a New Game Plus, or trade this with your friends. But either way, it is very powerful. This also has a strength requirement of 31 and 12 in deck. So it is a little on the higher side, but it is well worth it. Then after that, another one for the Hammer Bros out there, we have Prelate's Inferno Crozier. I believe that's how you pronounce it. This is a really cool looking weapon. Before we even talk about the damage and the stats, it's red. It's spiky. It just looks hella cool. I mean, why do you not want a weapon that looks like this? Looking awesome in the game is half the battle. However, this also has an incredibly awesome Ash of War where you basically turn into a flame train of pain. You slam the hammer down, you run forward. If you hold it, all whilst you have stamina, you can keep running, leaving this blazing trail. But that in and of itself isn't the big damage dealer. What really happens is when you let go of the attack, you then do this powerful uppercut, which does huge chunks of damage. This thing hits like a truck, which you'd expect given the size of it. So it is a strong contender. This has a requirement of 45 strength and eight decks. And of course it scales primarily in strength. So again, it is a fantastic pick for those strength builds. If you wanna get this one, fast travel to the Seethe Water terminus at Mount Gelmir and then you simply need to defeat the big guy on the inside of the fort and he will drop the weapon. And then finally, for the very last one, the Ruins Greatsword. This is actually my favourite one on the weapon list. The Ash of War for this is incredible. Not only is it really powerful, but it also just looks incredibly awesome. You send out this gravity wave that wrecks everything in its path. And you sort of see these stones or these like rocks, boulders coming out of the ground. So it just looks super powerful and it does also dish out a great deal of damage. Plus the sort of runic stone design to the Greatsword itself just looks quite different. I do really like this one. And it can also go up to S tier scaling when fully upgraded. 
It does, however, have a strength requirement of 50, intellect 16. So it is a little high on the strength side, but of course you would expect that with a strength weapon. And again, primarily scaling in strength. So this is definitely a great pick. If you want to get this one, after defeating Radan, you want to fast travel back to Castle Redmain and talk to the witch hunter Jeren, who has moved to the back after you've exhausted the conversation options. You then want to fast travel to the same place, but this time there'll be a boss fog door. If you defeat the two boss enemies, you will then get the sword as a weapon. And then finally, the very last one, not actually a weapon, hence why I said this is five weapons and one item, but if you are a strength bro, if you are running around with super heavy items, especially if you want to dual wield them, Great Jar's Arsenal is a must-have talisman. This increased the equip load capacity, which is good because, obviously, these are heavy weapons. And, I mean, look, sometimes you can embrace it, but let's be honest, I don't really want a fat roll. I like rolling. It keeps me alive. So if you want to get this one, this is probably the hardest thing to get on the list. You need to travel to Deep Cypher Well in Kaelid. From there, you then simply need to follow the path north through the valley. You need to kill the giant golems and then talk to the giant Jar. He will then place three invasion summoning points on the ground. You will then need to defeat all of the enemies in one go, or it will reset. And after defeating them, you talk to the jar to get the talisman. If you're having a hard time, being offline will make this easier, as the loadouts for the summon enemies will be generic rather than sort of a Timmy tryhard loadout, so maybe do keep that in mind. But if you do have this, it's well worth it. But anyway, there you have it. There's a little list of six awesome weapons. Well, five weapons, one talisman. That you should definitely get if you are spec for strength. Again, let me know in the comments down below if you guys have other picks. And do keep it locked for plenty more. Check out this video if you haven't caught our latest upload. And stay tuned on the channel.